have. See you guys. All right. So All right. Thank just you hit guys. the red buttons when we're done. Yeah. All right. Thanks, fellas. Have a good one. All yep. right. All okay. Right. Jeez. Wow. That's pretty hey. good, right? Yes, man. All right. Thanks for inviting me. And we're, you know, we're on camera right now, but we're, we're just rolling it in. We're yeah. Live, we're live. Now. A lot of people, a lot of times, look. They're oh. like, where's the red light? Are we yeah. on or not? And you like that? We got a boom oh, camera up here. This is a serious place in here, is, isn't it? This is deadly serious. This, this is amazing. a nice place. It's the first time to be in a podcast. Yeah. so I wear the same yeah. outfit. Everybody has something different on, but I always wear yeah. black. Yeah. But um, I don't want people to think we're recording this all in one day. Well, but it looks... It looks classy. Really classy. Black. I've got two of classy. these. I got a red. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking about switching this up back here, but yep. um, hey, everybody! Thanks for joining us today <clears> on <throat> Omaha Sips and Tips. I'm Sean Lee with Nebraska Realty, and I've got a great guest today. And we are going to sample some. Uh, we're going to sample some gin. Oh, so get yes. ready; it's going to be a good time. Hey, if if there's anything that you want to know about real estate, please give me a call. Mm. My first tip right now is, hey, this is a crazy, crazy seller's market. Anything up to probably 350,000 is going real quick. If you live in a different state, um, all my friends and family who have liked this page, hey, it's probably wild where you are too, unless you live in Los Angeles or New York. Mm -hmm. But again, I'm Sean Lee. Here is my guest today. Randy Perez, go ahead and introduce well, yourself, buddy. Yeah, it's me, Randy Perez. Um, I'm born and raised in the Philippines, but I've been here for 30 years in Omaha and uh, have my own business now. Yeah, yeah, tell us about is, uh, it. Which is a home health business. So we provide services to people in their homes. Um, they have to be homebound, though, okay? They shouldn't be driving. They shouldn't. They shouldn't be driving. <laughs> okay. Not uh, even if to. They're not driving. Uh, yeah, not even to. Uh, you know what? Is that the first thing people should know right yes, off the bat? If, yes. if you're homebound, that's a good time to call you. Is basically what you're saying. Yes, they can't be driving on their own. So if they were driving on their own, then we can't it's probably be out. giving them our services. Unfortunately, so they have okay. to be taken either by a family member, okay, or a caregiver. So that's. The first tip their, is for people, because mm -hmm. you know we got everybody. People moving to Omaha. People mm -hmm. uh, already live here. Yeah. And uh, I know these these have been going long. Listen, we're getting better on these folks, but yes, just listen, because yes. there's a lot mm -hmm. of hilarity in these yep. uh, podcasts. But we're trying to get to 20 minutes. Yeah. But okay. That's okay. But but one of the things that um, uh, that'd be the first tip I would yes, give is yes. that listen, if you if you yeah. got a a parent. Mm -hmm. Or family member, right? I mean, mm -hmm. what that's what you typically see, or elderly folks. They're yes. getting If they can drive by themselves, probably, probably not, not good for you. That'd be good for outpatient therapy. Okay. Okay. Um, but if they can't drive, they need help with a walker, with a cane, or getting in and out of the car. Okay. Then we are the ones to be called for that okay. because they're homebound. Homebound. So yes. You, but homebound. but you also work with people in. Uh, independent living, uh, yes. memory care facilities, anything like that. Anything, that yes, okay. that's true. Yes. So homebound, you, I mean, you're just a jack of all trades. You could do it all. <laughs> I can be. <laughs> you, you can be. <laughs> I okay. can be a jack of all trades. You can be. Master of none. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll so, get more into that, yep. but let me first um, yes. introduce what we're going oh, to drink. And when I said, hey, listen, Ooh. what's your deal? And you said gin. Oh, you love yes. it. But uh, this is, and I've done Brickway before, but mm -hmm. there's not a lot of uh, distilleries who want to take a chance on making a, a local gin. gin. That's a, a local, local gin. gin. Yeah, that's right. You know what? This is a yeah. local gin. I, mm -hmm. I read up on it. Uh, these guys got a great website too, by the way, Brickway mm -hmm. Distillery. So if you haven't done it, and you go there all the time downtown, yes. mm -hmm. you love it. Um, and you've never had the gin there. No. So no. we are going to do it. Matter of fact, that's what we always do. Um, as we pop this up. Front, but I'm going to wow. get the ice cubes if you want to, uh, yeah, if you want to just start popping start that. Popping I mean, up. I should have done that at first. Oh, so wow. uh, while you do that, I'm going to I'm gonna talk a little bit about this. Yeah. Listen, we are doing a gin and tonic. <laughs> oh, yeah. I've had gin one time. I sipped it, and I said, I don't know if this is for me. Do you know what I mean? Oh, yes. That came off way better than yes, my last than uh, guest. It was a little bit. Oh, I mm -hmm. don't even smell a thing. 
That's amazing. Oh, this is going to be hardcore. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be hardcore. So, man. Uh, we are going to mix this with a nice cucumber tonic yeah. water. Uh, fever tree, refreshingly light. Again, this fever is not a tree. paid uh, mm -hmm. paid anything. It's yeah. just the two of us so, drinking this, talk a little bit about home health, talk a little bit about real estate, just, yep. just fun stuff like that. And this is all new to us both. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be awesome. First time for you, first time for me. <laughs> I'm going to say it tree. again. If we it's get too crazy, time. we're, we're going to be on a, in an Uber. <laughs> uh, afterwards, we're going to go eat tacos. Oh, uh, yes. I'm going to eat tacos Tuesday with the families. Yeah, okay, that's You're welcome right. to. You're welcome to. Yep. We're going to do two tonic to one, uh, oh, yeah. to one gin. So oh, yes. I'll tell you what. Uh, Makes sense. Why don't you... Now, you have a standalone office, because if you got a standalone yeah, we, office, you know what? Here's what I'm going to do. While you're doing that, I'm going to fill this. Yes. I'm going to put the ice in here, spheres. Yep. Okay. Can I show ahead. them the brochure? Yeah, show hey them Hey, guys, the this is our brochure. It says here, Comper Care Rehab. Um, we are Joint Commission accredited. We get the gold seal of approval from the federally um, commissioned survey. Sure. So it's a, it's a joint commission accreditation. So we're accredited by a federal mandated accreditation body. Okay. So we're not a fly by night. We are official. All right. We do Medicare. We do Blue Cross Blue Shield insurances. We do United Healthcare too, Med Advantage or any United Healthcare. Uh, total care. We do Medicaid. We even do VA patients too, if they send them to us. Okay. So. Um, those are the insurances that we take. And in all honesty, we are currently pretty much 80% United Healthcare okay. right now. Maybe we have about, no, maybe 60%, and we have 40% Medicare. Um, so if you guys have anyone in your family, be it an uncle, okay. uh, aunt, grandpa, grandma, who need help, Please, they need help to stay in their home or if they need help to transfer to another home and downsize, of course, you have Sean here. Well, that's help nice. Sell yeah, the home. I appreciate you. But wherever they go, they still need help for sure. Please do. Call okay. me or call our number 402-932-0703. You know what? I'm going to put the number right yes, here. That's how yes. fancy we are. Not uh, only that, I mean, yeah. you got a you got a website yes, that you that we you use people can go to, yeah. and they can they can go mm -hmm. straight to it. Yep. And uh, I'll put that up. I think it's Comper Comper Care Care Inc. Inc. Dot com. Dot com. Comper Care Inc. Care Inc. Dot com. Dot com. Um, also, we don't just do home care. We also do outpatient too. So we are a combination of both. We have a therapist also that does the outpatient. So if they're no longer homebound after our therapy in the home, they can still pursue the outpatient with okay. us. And um, it's a different payer source, of course. It's under Medicare Part B. Okay. But um, what else do I need to say? Um, well, yeah, we've we been in business for about uh, 15 years now. Was that 15 years. 2008. I read, 2008. On, your I read 2008. on your website. Uh, 2008. 2008. Yeah, 2008. Okay. We started as a staffing company, and oh. we figured, well, how many people uh, you got employed there? Um, Before you tell me that, yeah, let's take a sip of this sip stuff. Of this one again. Woo. This is a cucumber tonic Cheers. and gin Woo. from Brickway. Oh, it smells good. Let's try. Oh, let's man. test it out. Woo. It's two to one. Oh my God, that is. <laughs> This is good. You love it, don't you? This is good. It's strong, though. Potent. I'm having a rough. Oh, man. You like it, huh? Yeah. Do you need a little more cucumber tongue? No, this is good. Good good mixture. This is a good two mixture. One. Two and one. Unless you want more cucumber. <laughs> I mean, you yeah, know what? Yeah, we can have some. Yeah, mm -hmm. we can have some more cucumber. Mm -mm. If you can do it, I can do it. I, I, I like uh, to do it my, by my guests, too. Yeah, man. Wow. That's really... Oh. Wow. Kind of got it. It's kind of like a, you know, really uh, cucumber a, and something cucumber else and, a, and something else. Uh, Ginny, oh, it's got to be the gin. It? Gin, yeah, it must be. You the know gin. what? Next time I do gin, mm. brickway. Don't. I'm using glass, yeah. but 
Don't be upset. Mm -hmm. But um, we should maybe we should we should have tasted it beforehand. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, it's but. Do you like it, huh? That's that's good. Well, I okay. like the cucumber too. It's sweet. See? Yeah, that's the bitters. Anything I looked up on uh, gin, we could have just done a regular the, the tonic. The bitter is the is the the gin. Oh yeah, yeah, but it's all good. On a on a gin and tonic, when I was looking it up, mm -hmm. it said, "Hey, listen, you got to uh, uh, add add the gin two to one. Yeah, or one to one." Two to one or three to one. Three to one. The, the and um, th this gin, uh, you know what? It's been it's filtered a minimum of forty-eight hours. That's what it says right here oh, for a smooth finish. I will say it is wow. smooth, right? Yeah, it is smooth. There's it's nothing, 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 nothing messing you up. Yeah, yeah, no, nothing messing and, you up. And uh, distilled from grain and charcoal, wow. filtered to perfection. Oh, that's the charcoal there. Is that what I it can is? Kind of. It's good. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's smooth. I mean, I'm trying to think of when I would really want to drink a gin and tonic. There's a distinct smell now. It's uh, it's probably the cucumber. The cucumber, yeah. Wow. Anyway, how many employees you got over there, um, at Copper Care? And then uh, I got a scenario have, for you. We have about um, ten employees right now. Okay, ten employees. Yeah, and we used to be bigger before over. the pandemic, but because of the pandemic, we kind of okay. downsized. You know, we yeah. got affected by that. But we're coming back again. So we've just hired a new full-time nurse. Okay, wow. So. Um, in all honesty, it's been a struggle yeah. for most home health agency because we've declined so many clients that have been referred to us by hospitals because we don't want to over promise and under deliver. Gotcha. It's not good for business. You know, you have to have that, especially with being a service, you have to have service plus. Yeah. Yeah, you have to make sure you can really handle. The, the the current need of yeah, the client, and I you remember know? you you talking yeah. uh, before, just saying, mm -hmm. "Hey, it's you know it's been tough to get people to work uh -huh. too. First of all, get yeah. employees or people to to mm -hmm. get out there. It's just a, yeah. a tough thing coming out of the pandemic, right? Yeah. I mean, it's but things mm -hmm. are getting better. Do you got any positions you need right now? I mean, if people want to get a job with Comper Care. Oh, we we do need everything. You know, you, we need. Um, you go on the website, do you, or do you? Where do you guys advertise normally we, if you needed people to come had, in there? We advertise at Indeed, and we advertise okay. at um, the, the the state website. I don't know what it's. Oh, uh, I can't re remember the name of the state website that we advertise to. The GOV Nebraska. Yeah, the, yeah, because yeah, they need something like that. People contractor. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you know what? I'm gonna look it up, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna put it. Right here, I like to put it right here because yes. it's gonna be a little, it's gonna be in there. little sign so, pop up for you. Yes, yes, that's nice. So we right. uh, we do need um, part time nurses since we already just hired a full time, but we can still accommodate more okay. nurses out there um, who wants flexible time. Okay. They the thing with home health, I don't know why some of the nurses don't do home health. It's so flexible. Even me as a therapist too, mm -hmm. the flexibility is there. Like you could always just schedule the patients accordingly or clients. I don't want to call them patients. Your patients but the just clients, clients accordingly. Your, your families. And, and yeah. then if you say you have kids, you know, like uh, a nurse has a 10 year old who plays sport or something like that or, or who does instrument, who does anything musical stuff. Um, they could always schedule their client if there is a schedule for their kids. You know, they could say, hey, uh, Mr. So-and-so or Miss So-and-so, can I just move you tomorrow? I got a basketball to game. I, I, got, got a, yeah, I got this game. I got soccer now coming yeah. up. Or yeah. I got basketball. I got volleyball baseball. coming up. Baseball yeah. coming up. Football coming up. Yeah. And my kids are in this elite league, you know, okay. and they are scheduled on this particular Wednesday time. Okay. They could always call Miss So-and-so and say, Hey, Miss So and So, can I just move you to Thursday since Wednesdays are booked for me for yeah, my most kids? Most of those people are probably pretty flexible. Oh with yeah, because okay. especially if it's family related, yeah, uh, event, you know, especially with kids, they understand. Most of our clients are very, they're very um, emphatic about it. They understand fully what family, family is all about. Okay, Same cool. with us too. So if the client has a family event, like a birthday of someone, like a close family member. And they would say, hey, Ranny, can you just, I have this event on Thursday at your time when you're coming. Can I move that to Friday? I said, oh, yeah, by all means. Okay. That's the flexibility of home care. So 
you um, folks out there in the professional healthcare field, home care is the most flexible yeah. um, work or job that you could have, especially if you have kids that are still in the age group of between two to 15. Six. The, Just, or 16. Yeah. Well, you, well, you, you got to pick up and drive. You got to pick up and drive. You got to pick up and drive yes. kids. Yeah. Oh, that's right. Yes. Throwing kids. If they're dry, not driving yet, yeah. that's the time that home care is the most flexible job you could have. So uh, even and if it you, pays more. Yeah. Well, so you've got mm -hmm. nurses you need, mm -hmm. RNs. Physical therapists. Physical therapists. Occupational therapists. Occupational therapists. Speech therapists. Speech. And home health, okay. home health aid or bath aid. Okay, well, do you have to have a certain, what's a certain requirement on a home um, bath aid? Is that like a CMA CNA, or CNA, CMA type of? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. Okay, perfect. Yeah. So if they're a certified nursing assistant, they can be a bath aid. Now, the number that I put up mm -hmm. down here, whose yeah. number is that going to be? Who's, who, if someone were to call that, whose number is that? Um, if it's the 402 You tell me what number you want to put on there. It will be the office number. Okay. If it's a... Uh, 402-917-2430, it will be my number, cell okay. number. Um, they can call me anytime. And you got an info email too, don't you? Yeah, it's, it's info at? Well, actually, it's compercare at yahoo.com. Just, just the name. Compercare at yahoo.com. Just the name. It's okay. compercare, compercare at yahoo.com. Simple. Okay. And we'll get that. You, get, you, you can talk so to, easy. at least get somebody to talk mm -hmm. to. And yeah, and yeah. Do. Yeah, man. Okay, yeah. so. Mm-hmm. Real quick, you know, people are they're mm -hmm. coming here, they're listening. Um, mm -hmm. The gin's starting to, to make a little to more sense little to more me sense. now. Yes, I love it. <laughs> yeah, you know what? I mean, you know, I'm just sipping this. I'm thinking, okay, oh, this is a cool little thing. I guess I could do this oh, at the pool and just relax and just yes. kind of, all right, this is, this is yeah. a cool deal. It's even tasting better. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. The I was longer like, it is, it tastes better, man. I'm Woo! thinking, okay, this, this is good. Brick. Brickway Gin. Oh my People. God! It works well with your cucumber. Yeah, it's, this this is perfect. Oh my goodness! Mm. This is the best gin I could. Really? Once the ice melted. It's even. It's oh good, my man. gosh, man! You know what? I've tried so many gin, I, but this is one of the. I've done brick. Uh, you know Ooh. what? I think I a couple know, shows ago, I I did a Brickway whiskey. Really? It was fantastic. You really? know what? It was really good. I wish yeah. I wouldn't have give. It. I gave it to my guest. Oh, you did. I'm not gonna give you this gin. No, I'm no, gonna keep no, it. no. You gotta keep it. I gotta keep it in case I, I, somebody I'll else. I'll get one, one, one of these days. Yeah, that's right. You get one of your one yeah. of these days. I'm gonna ask go those there. guys there. Say, hey, did Sean and, come and if, over here and bought that gin? If you guys want to go <laughs> see that, I'll put the address down. I I don't know exactly where the address is, but mm. it's downtown Omaha. It's good. Man, it's a good place to getting, go check it out. That's getting so much better. Yeah, Ooh, that's scary. Yeah, scary. Okay, well. Let's uh, let me. So give me an idea. So people come here, mm -hmm. they're living, you know, and and your most typical client. Yeah. Give me your most typical oh. client. Like I'm living, I'm doing my stuff. Yeah. You know, your tip most typical client that needs that, help. That needs help. That anybody who's listening to this show mm -hmm. or just is is clicking in and says, "Geez, you know yeah. what? What's that about?" Because I don't think most people no. realize mm -hmm. what exactly. That would be so. Give me your most typical, you know, scenario. What's what's your most easy? You you know, hey, someone's mm -hmm. calls you up. Yeah, go ahead. Well, Come the in. most typical client we have is someone who lives in their own homes, of course. Okay. They might be living alone. They don't have any help at all. Family members might come by once a week to check on them, and then. The main thing is if they are falling. Okay. The fallers. Someone's somebody just lost their balance and fell in the bathroom or even just walking to the kitchen and tipped their walker. Um, those are the those are one of the main things that we look at is the fallers. Another one also typical client is someone who cannot even um, like walk outside or go back to gardening anymore. They used can't to bend garden. Over, can't, can't bend over, can't do it. They have pain in their back. Okay. They have pain in their hip. They have pain in their knees. Those mm. are also one of our main clients that we can see. Okay. Another one is like people who had post-surgery, post-surgical. Like if they had surgery in their hip, because they had a 
hip replacement. Okay, hip or replacement. Or they have a knee replacement. Okay. And they cannot function so well because their hip is still swollen from the surgery. It's painful. Okay. Uh, the knee is still swollen and limited in range of motion. So, um, and also people with some cognitive impairment, you know, like they cannot figure out what day it is or they cannot figure out their medication or they cannot okay. do their own insulin anymore. Okay. Or they cannot do I mean, their those own. Are a lot of, those those yeah. seem like a lot of typical, mm -hmm. you know, but the, the main thing sounds like if somebody yeah. falls mm -hmm. or you got something replaced Basement and you, or you go in there yeah. and mm -hmm. people well, are just rebuilding muscle or are we just mm -hmm. getting things to be used yeah. again that people can walk go. outside or at least get a little bit more mobile? Yeah, regain their prior level. That's okay. what it is. Okay. Um, we want them to, we come in, re-educate their muscle, alleviate pain and discomfort, remove the swelling, whatever it is, if there's mm -hmm. edema, effusion on their knee, yeah. We try to help alleviate that with some tips that we can give them, like icing it or massaging it, you know. Okay. Um, also for pain management, maybe give them tips on how to um, manage their medicine, their medication. The nurse will come and say, hey, you should take this like this. And do these. Accordingly, and you know. Okay. Um, and check their medication if they're taking them right okay. and timely. Some people, Are they, they, forget? They, 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 they put it off. And also, not only that, um, by the way, we're not just a home care to go there and, and treat them for their deficit. We see them holistically. Okay. That's the, that's the essence of our home health because we have trained our staff to look not just the hip, but to look the overall picture of the client. Say, are they eating nutritious food, Okay. fiber? Protein, all the all the dietary requirements that they need. Are they drinking fluids? You're just not there to go work no. on the hip. You're there to make sure the, everything they're getting healthy. Mm -hmm. The whole the, the whole holistic approach. Okay, it's all right. Well, it's not. I'm not trying to delineate other home care, but we are different because we're a small scale home health agency. We're not. A, by the way, we're not a conglomerate. But that's what I said. We're not this a big. If you was, you wouldn't be on here. Oh, this yeah. is a We're local. This almost just, just locally Omaha owned, Metro, man. Douglas, Sarpy County. Locally what? owned, man. Locally, locally owned. owned. Everybody likes it. Brickway's so, local. Brickway's That's locally what we... owned. You are locally. I'm a local. Local guy. Yeah. In Omaha. This so is what we're doing. We we do the whole picture. We look at them. We, we educate okay. them to make sure that they don't regress after we're done. Yeah. That they succeed and age well in place. Okay, well. That's the main thing, man. Okay, that's right? the main thing. We're going to do H1 it. You're going to do it. Oh, yeah. We well, that's the key. You know so, what? That's one of the reasons why I thought, yeah, you know, Randy needs to probably mm -hmm. be on this show. Man, uh, I mean, but you know what? I think a lot of people out there uh, just don't yeah. know. You know, oh, mom fell. Mm -hmm. or what? You yeah. know, as you get older, yeah. and people are like, well, they, they just fell the one time. But it's yeah. it's kind of a something that happens, and yeah. pretty soon... They don't know it, but they need. They may need. They may need it. Yeah, that's one thing different with us because because we're family owned. I have a business partner, and he's also a physical therapist. Okay. That's one thing that differentiates us is because we treat our clients like family. I like it. It's all about family. I like you know, it. I I've I treat my clients like my mom and dad. All right. Immediate family member. If you treat them that way, you get good results, and they can sense that. We have trained our staff to have more empathy, you know? Yeah. Empathy is the main thing that's missing in this world right now, you know, so. Well, you, uh, you we know have what, to start it in our own you're way. A good, you're a good way. guy. Yeah. You're definitely a good guy. So if there's people out there uh, mm -hmm. watching and listening, I hope that they'll give yeah. you a call, especially when they start seeing some of those signs. Sure, sure. They should give you a yeah. call and at least, yeah. hey, man, uh, man dude, what do yeah. we got to do? What's the scoop? You'll, you'll help them out. Yeah, I mean, uh, we, we, we love to help them. We love, I okay. love helping people because, like I said, I, I've been helped by a lot of people. So in well, a way, that's my way of giving up, uh, giving, giving my own sense of help is okay. through giving this to my clients, you know. Okay. Uh, I, I love my job. We love our company. We we this is our baby, so we want to keep this working. We want to keep this going. Small business here it's in, not, in yeah. 
mm-hmm. in Omaha, Nebraska. And yeah. when I say Omaha, I mean yeah. all the Metro, Elkhorn, yeah. Gretna, mm-hmm. Bellevue, yeah, Bellevue, Ralston. Yes. Okay. Now that I started yeah. saying it, <laughs> if I leave someone off, it's going to – Oh, geez. But anyway, you yeah. get it. Yeah. Now, so, uh, we probably – you know what? Real quick, I should probably say something about about real estate. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And then we're gonna rate this. Sure. And we're gonna tell everybody goodbye. We enjoyed it. But let me yes. let me ask you something. Mm-hmm. How many how many homes you think are on the market under two fifty? Two hundred fifty thousand Omaha Metro. This is Douglas of Sarpy County. For those of you listening. Wow. Yeah. Don't mm. get don't get crazy sitting there going. Oh, geez, this guy's gonna talk numbers. I don't. I don't want to sell a house. It's not about that. Yeah. This is about about housing. Yes. So, yes. so just give me a give me a guess. How many homes you think there are about out there? Sixty. You know what? That's a good guess. Yeah. Under two fifty. Ninety houses. Oh wow. There's only ninety houses, Douglas of Sarpy County, under the that's, price of two fifty. That's 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 it. That's, that's it. all. Do you know how many we had in oh uh, gosh, twenty man. twenty two? We had hundred and seventy six. Wow. And down in twenty twenty one we had two hundred and thirty three the same time as last year. So uh kept coming down. April. Yeah. Uh and in twenty twenty we had almost five hundred, four hundred and seventy seven oh houses. Oh my gosh, man. Uh we're down to ninety. So um, you should build some houses, Sean. <laughs> yeah, I know we should. Um, that's, wow. that's a crazy market. It's a crazy market, But man. Uh, just a little fun little tidbit <clears throat> of information. Yeah. You know what the deal is, and I, I, I think I might have said this on the show before, but mm-hmm. you know, on average, people used to stay in their homes you know, seven, eight years. Seven, eight, yeah. Even nine. I mean... I'm part of the problem, right? And I'm a, <laughs> I'm a real estate agent well, with the other 3,500 of us. Mm-hmm. But I'm part of the problem. I've been in my house for like 17, 18 years. I mean, I, I don't know how long you've been in your house. but um, It'll be seven years in August. Okay, seven years. You move. I mean, so. Yeah. How long Maybe did you live in 20, your... 23, right? Yeah. Right now? Yeah, seven years. How long just, did you live in your previous house? house? 14. <laughs> 14. Yeah, you know, I mean... So people aren't tedious. moving out of their homes, you know. They're yeah. they're so we're having we're getting backed up. We got a lot of young people out there um, with dogs mm-hmm. and babies mm-hmm. who want to have their ho- a new house, and I um, mean it's it's mm-hmm. tough. So uh, you know, I, I'll 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 finish with that. It's wow. it's tough. So wow. be patient. We can't get some things to work mm-hmm. out. So yeah, be patient, everybody. But wow. let's 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 rate this gin, man. Let's rate this gin. I mean, I'll I know, scale I, one to ten. This, I know you the, said the deal's that one to ten. You don't want to overrate it. I know really? you said that. Don't overrate. Don't. O- oh, let me taste it let again. Let me taste again. <laughs> Dang, you're digging it though. <laughs> I want one more. <laughs> we're gonna sip. You know what? We're gonna take a little sip as the camera goes down. As it fades. We'll we'll dump a little bit in here and oh we'll just chit chat towards man. the end. This is so because we got the room to ourselves from here on out. I know. But I would say between eight and nine, eight, eight and a half, eight and a half. I I can't eight be, and half can't gin, be, and I don't even perfect. like gin. Nothing's perfect. So no. you're like the third, ten, if, fourth person that said if, that on the on the show. Per- if ten is perfect, then we can't have a perfect one. You know, we, there should be room to grow yet. But yeah. but to me, this is rated up there. I know I've tasted some of those gin out there. It's got kind of a Gilvis wow. gin and but really, this Brickway gin, folks, eight point five. Oh Go check them gosh, out downtown. Man. Go it buy is... you a bottle of this stuff if you like a gin and tonic. I, I What's the price range people. of this? I, I can't even remember. Can't remember. No, but go get it. Oh my god! You know what? And don't buy, don't buy cheap. Buy, no. buy the good stuff, people. Would Would you get the uh, the Cucumber thing. I bought that uh, somewhere. Where? Liquor store. They had a little special. Uh, they did. Oh, yeah. That Some goes so about well it. with that one. That was a good idea. Huh? I did a lot of man, research dude. on this oh, show, yeah. folks. <laughs> this is the man. Hey, <laughs> uh, listen. I appreciate uh, yeah. you coming coming to oh, thank to you. join us with me. Comper Care yes, Rehab. Comper Care this, Rehab. Is, this is the place to go. Yes, we or have call a, if you have questions. Our office is in one 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 zero Fourth Street. 110th and 4th Street. All right. You can't miss it. Hey, folks, thanks for yep. joining me today on Omaha Sips and Tips. I seriously go subscribe to my yep. YouTube channel. Mm-hmm. You can also check out my Facebook page mm-hmm. at Omaha Sips and mm-hmm. Tips. 
And if you get crazy and you're moving here, or you just want to drive and listen to old crazy Sean Lee uh, talk to people in the local Omaha area. Oh, uh, uh, I got the gins getting to it. In the local Omaha area, uh, Douglas and Sharpie counties, uh, you can listen to us on Amazon and yes. Spotify podcast. Uh, you got something to say? Um, well, I would like to say thank you to this man over here. All right. He's the man of the hour. Thank you, sir. I like you, Shan. Thank you, man, for this opportunity. It's really uh, my first time to be on a podcast, honestly speaking. Really? You did a good job. No, this is the Real first smooth. time. Everything is first. Everything's right better here. when you're drinking but, something but man, in a this, podcast. Yes, I'd love to come back again someday, maybe, if We're you have a chance. But, man, this is one of the best podcasts that I've ever had. <laughs> I mean, you know, I can't compare it to anything else, but by far. I appreciate This that. is hard to beat. It's hard to beat. Oh, my gosh, All right, man. man. What are we going to do next time? <laughs> uh, we'll do something. Hey, thanks, yes, everybody. Thank appreciate it. Don't care. Let's take a little sip.